Okay, here we are on one of my favorite websites, drafttech.com. It's my go-to site when I want to know what college players are coming into the league at every position. Let's take a look and see who they have as their top receivers in 2020 coming into the NFL. Come over here, you'll see that they have Jerry Judy of Alabama as their top player, along with C.D. Lamb. Both of these guys are huge players in college, and they're going to get drafted early and often in fantasy football leagues. Henry Huggs, Justin Jefferson, and T. Higgins are also great players coming from great colleges. They also will get drafted in the first round of the NFL Draft this April. You should know who they are because they're probably going to get drafted in your league this year. The rest of these guys, let's take a look at them because they're probably going to be on your waiver wire come week one if they're not drafted in your league. Starting with this guy out of Colorado, Lavinska Chenault. Man, he had a good career in Colorado. He's a big boy and he's fast. Probably isn't going to get drafted in many fantasy leagues, but that doesn't mean you're not going to want to pick him up on your waiver wire. Denzel Mims, he's moved up. Take a peek over here. 41 spots. See this little number here? Last week he was down 41 spots. Tell you what, why is he moved up so far? Had a great combine. We're filming this in early March, and the combine was last week, and this guy blew people away. He's not only big, as you can see here, but put up a great career in Baylor and he's going to do well in the NFL. Projected to be a second round pick so you better know who he is. This kid out of Arizona State is really good. Brandon Ayuk. I tell you what man, the kid can play. He's going to be a second round pick in the NFL draft and you should know who he is because he's going to be on your waiver wire. How about Michael Pittman Jr. and Tyler Johnson out of Minnesota. These guys will probably be taken late second round or early third round. I should not tell you, the NFL said there could be as many as 38 wide receivers taken in the first four rounds of the NFL draft this April. These are your top tens. Not every one of them is gonna be drafted in your league, but knowing who the top players are in college coming into the NFL is up to you. And we're gonna show you the ones you need to know about heading into week one of the NFL season. Let's go take a look at some of the stats from some of these guys on a website called sportsreference.com. Okay, here we are on a website I love. It's called sportsreference.com. If you wanna know anything about anybody in sports, Go to this website and they'll have all the facts about his career. If you get a chance, go check it out. Today, we're talking about Jerry Judy, Draft Tech's number one prospect at wide receiver from Alabama. As you can see here, right here, these are his stats. You can see here, this is the years, 2017, 18, and 19. The school is Alabama. The conference is SEC. He was a freshman, sophomore, and junior under class. The position is wide receiver. The games he played are right here. That's what the G stands for. 8, 15, and 13. He probably won a national championship or at least played in it this year. In 2018, that's why he played in 15 games. These are the receiving yards, the rushing yards here, and the scrimmage yards. If we go to the receiving yards, he had 14 receptions in 2017, followed by 68 and 77 in 2019. Those are pretty good numbers. These are his yardages. First year, not so much. Then he popped in two 1,000 yard seasons. Those are his yards average per catch. And these are his TDs. He was very productive his sophomore and junior year. That's why he's the number one receiver on Draft Tech. And you can see he only has very limited rushing yards. But the yards from scrimmage, look at the TDs over here. 2, 14, and 10 for a total of 26 in his career. That's why Draft Tech has Jerry Judy as their number one prospect coming into the NFL at wide receiver. That's why you need to know who he is because he's going to get drafted in your fantasy league. Let's go check out some other wide receivers you need to know about. Okay, here we are back on sportsreference.com 
checking out one of my favorite players in this year's draft, and his name is C.D. Lamb out of Oklahoma. He's a wide receiver that not only had one Heisman Trophy winning quarterback throwing to him in Baker Mayfield, but he had two of them throwing to him. And you know what's really crazy? The guy that was throwing to him in his third year, he came in second in the Heisman Trophy balloting. And I'll tell you what, one of the reasons why all three of those quarterbacks were successful is because of this guy. He should be a top 10 pick in this year's NFL draft. Let's check out what he did in college. As you can see, he played for three years at Oklahoma in the Big 12. He was a freshman, sophomore, and junior at wide receiver, and these are the games he played in. These are the receptions he had in three years. Check that out, 173. That's pretty good for a three-year career. And he had 3,200 total yards with an average catch of 19 yards per catch and a whopping 32 touchdowns. That's pretty good. It's over 10 touchdowns a year on average. These were his rushing yards, not much for wide receivers, although his junior year he did have a touchdown and he got to run the ball. You know what else he does? He returns punts and kickoffs. That's why he's valuable, and that's why I think he's going to be the first wide receiver taken in this year's draft. These are his yards from scrimmage with 33 touchdowns total in his college career. And when you get a chance to draft C.D. Lamb, this year, he's probably going to start off slow, but by the end of the year, you'll be picking up or be glad you drafted C.D. Lamb from Oklahoma. Let's check out another wide receiver we really like this year. Okay, here we are checking out another wide receiver you need to know about coming in to the NFL in 2020, and his name is Henry Ruggs III, another player from Alabama. You can see here he played three years at Alabama in the SEC. These, he was a wide receiver. These are the games he played and look at the receptions. Not as good a player, or at least as far as receptions go per game. As you can see here, best he had was 46. He did catch a ton of touchdowns, 24, and the yardage right here, 1,700, wasn't as good as the last two guys we just mentioned. But you know what this guy has that nobody else has in this draft, or at least very few? This kid's a speed burner. He's going to catch a ton of passes deep and get you a lot of points on one play. That's why you need to know who Henry Ruggs III is from Alabama. Doesn't rush the ball much, although he did have a touchdown last year. As you can see here, these are his yards from scrimmage with 25 TDs in his career. Let's check out who else we like. Okay, here we are talking about another receiver you should know about. It's going to be taken in the first round of the NFL draft and is going to get drafted in your league probably after the break, maybe in rounds 11, 12, who knows. But you know what? He just won a national championship with LSU, and his name is Justin Jefferson, and he's a stud. Look at these yards he had last year. Didn't do much before this, but he did last year. Sometimes it takes a few years for a kid to grow up. Well, guess what? Justin Jefferson grew up big time, and he had a great combine. That's why Justin Jefferson is someone you need to know about. That's why we have him on this show today. Let's check out the numbers. You can see right here, he played for LSU for three years in the SEC. That's a tough conference. That, that wide receiver, these are the games. His freshman year didn't get a chance to play, probably behind some really good wide receivers who are in the NFL now. But when he did get a chance to play, especially his senior year, that's the stat line that you're looking at right here, is what he did this year in 2019. The previous years, he was just average. But like I said, he grew up, and he's going to be a good player in the NFL. Might take him a little bit longer than other players to mature, but you know what? He's worth taking this year, later in your draft, or picking up on the waiver wire. Make sure you keep an eye on Justin Jefferson. Let's check out what else he did. He had 26 rushes in 2018. Not sure what that's about. Maybe they tried him at running back, but good thing they kept him at wide receiver. This is what he did in his career, 24 touchdowns. Compared to the other two or three guys we looked at, this guy's not 
technically as good as far as stats go, but you know what? That doesn't mean anything. Once you get to the NFL, hopefully he matures, handles himself as a pro professional, and becomes the player you and I think he can be. Good luck. I tell you what, let's go take a look at some other wide receivers you need to know about for this season. Okay, here we are back checking out another wide receiver coming out of college in 2020, heading for the NFL draft that you need to know about. His name is T. Higgins. He's a big boy, and you know what he does is he can catch the ball. So that's why Draft Tech likes him. That's why I like him. That's why you should consider drafting him in 2020. Let's take a look at what he did in college. You can see here he played for three years out of Clemson in the ACC, the conference right here. Freshman, sophomore, junior, wide receiver. These are the games he played. Ooh. 2015 games that means he might have played in a couple championship games he did what's that mean he's a player and these are what he did in those championship games look at that 12 TDs 13 TDs in the years that they went to the championship behind a good quarterback he's gonna be on our mind next year but we're talking wide receivers so let's continue he didn't do much rushing oh he did have one touchdown and look at what he did in his career 28 touchdowns he had basically two good years so a lot of people like t higgins uh he didn't go to the nfl combine i mean i think he did but he didn't like you know perform for whatever reason but you know what he's a pretty good player he's going in the first round i'm not sure where he's going but if he goes to the right team maybe like new orleans with drew Brees. oh man could you imagine this kid that as big as he is going with Drew Brees so you got to be wondering where he's going to go in the draft which will happen in April and I'm keeping an eye on T Higgins from Clemson let's take a look at a few more wide receivers that you should know about this year okay here we are back talking about some wide receivers you need to know about coming into the NFL draft this April and one of the wide receivers you should know about is this kid out of Colorado. His name is LaVisca Chenault. And I'll tell you what, he's good. He's probably gonna go in the first round. And I'll tell you what, if he goes in the second round, ugh, someone's getting a great player. And you should be thinking about drafting him in your upcoming draft. Might not pan out early, but I'll tell you what, he will pan out because he's a good player. Let's take a look at some of his stats. He played three years for Colorado in the Pac-12. He's freshman, sophomore, junior, wide receiver. These are the games he played in. Not a lot of production. These are the receptions he had. He had a good year in 2018. These are the yards he did. And he didn't put up a lot of TDs. But he's still getting a lot of publicity. Why? Because he's a player. Didn't play in every single game, but I tell you what, everybody in Colorado is telling you to keep an eye on him. So are the NFL scouts, and so is Draft Tech, and so am I. Keep an eye on this kid. If you come over here, you can see he does rush the ball. He did get some touchdowns running the ball, and he did get some touchdowns receiving the ball. And he's going to get drafted early in the NFL. That's why you need to know about him. His name is LaVisca Chenault, and I will tell you what. Draft him and late in your drafts, and you might get yourself a sleeper guy if he goes to the right team. Let's take a look at another receiver you need to know about in this year's draft. Okay, here we are, back taking a look at a couple receivers you need to know about. Notice that Draft Tech has a different list of wide receivers. They have their premier outside receivers. Well, guess what else they do? They list their slot receivers. Look at here. Look at their height and weight. That's why they're considered slot receivers. But you still need to know who they are. Why? Because there's a lot of slot receivers like Tyler Boyd and other wide receivers like, like Julian Edelman. I mean, these are guys you need to know about. So I, I decided to add them in there. Jalen Rigor out of TCU and KJ Hamler out of Penn State. Hey, man, these guys can play. They're going to get some points in fantasy football and the reason I'm showing them to you is you need to know who they are in the upcoming season. The reason I show them to you is because these guys are going to produce points in fantasy football. They may not be drafted in your league but they're people you should know about as sleeper picks 
take late in your draft or maybe pick up on the waiver wire as soon as you notice they're starting to do well. Okay, here we are back in our website. There you have it. Those are just some of the wide receivers that are going to help you win a championship in 2020. Whether it's our top picks, sleeper picks, or maybe even it's one of the rookies coming in the league that you should know about. All these players are going to help you win a championship in 2020. I'm Buster Brown, the show's Redemption Rehab. Good luck.